There's a fundamental problem that the state represents for capitalism, and it always did. And that has to be foregrounded, that's why I'm starting with it, so that you keep that in your mind as we go through the rest of it. The problem of the state for capitalism has to do with what we call universal suffrage, the extension of the right to vote to everyone. That has now become the norm in modern society. At first, in the early days of capitalism, they didn't have this problem with the state because early capitalism didn't give the vote to everybody. Even in the United States, in our early years of independence, voting was restricted to males, not females, to white people, not brown people, to people who had wealth, not people who didn't, all kinds of restrictions. But we now have universal suffrage, meaning everybody has the right to vote. And the minute you have that, capitalism has a problem. Why? Because in capitalism, a small number of people control the economy. You know, the employers. If you add them all up together, all the employers, all the bosses, whether it's a little business owned by an individual or a bigger one by a family or an even bigger one by shareholders in a corporation, Whatever, you put them all together, and those who own and run corporations are a small minority of the population. The vast majority of the population, say in the United States, or in Western Europe, or Japan, or virtually everywhere else, are the employees, which means that when you have elections with universal suffrage, the employees should dominate because they're the overwhelming majority. What they want, rules. That's what a democratic, one person, one vote, universal suffrage-based state would mean. And that's a danger for capitalism. Why? Well, it's really pretty obvious. The workers have different interests from the capitalists. Since the workers would control the government in a world of universal suffrage, which is what we've got, then it's really only a matter of time and not much of that before the workers realize what their political power with universal suffrage, what it might, might mean. But you know who understands that best? The capitalists. They know how vulnerable they are. They are an embattled minority.